Welcome back everybody, hope you're doing well. Currently still in Portugal, checking out some stores here. We just arrived in a beautiful aqua shaping shop called Aqua Eden. I'm gonna give you guys a bit of a tour. So the shop has literally loads of different display things. So we'll just kind of quickly go through every single one of them if we can manage. Uh, first one is an Eheim tank, so not a rimless tank, but actually a closed tank. A really nice hardscape with dragonstones. The dragonstones are kind of covered in white spots, I guess from the knee ride snails. And then we have loads of different types of fish in here. We have the rainbow bosmanis, we have some lamb chopras, boras, congo tetras, and a few other types as well. It's just a really nice display tank. Super healthy plants in here as well. Some nice Blixa japonica. I think the red stem plants are Ludwigia arcuata. Yeah, really nice tank. Interesting catfish here as well. Not sure what's the name of that one. Okay, let's move on to this one now. I just spoke to the owner of the shop and this was actually the first tank that they built for the store. The store has been around since 2005, so quite a long time already. Really interesting dimensions. I think it's 180 centimeters, something like that, I'm not sure. And it's 80 centimeters deep and maybe 50 or 60 centimeters high. Really interesting dimensions. And then it has an entire glass brace around the, the top of the tank. In here we have some beautiful angel fish, some cardinal tetras, some glow light tetras. Some really healthy crypts in here. It's almost like a carpet with Hygrophila pinatifida. And then there's some echinodors growing out of the water, and there's a beautiful moss growing out of the water. Yeah, I really like this one. Okay, over here we have another really cool display tank. It's almost like a paludarium. So we have a very shallow tank. And then behind it we have like a glass or an acrylic wall. I think they call this a wabikusa wall, but I'm not entirely sure. It's a really nice display. Uh, we have some guppies in here. We have a beautiful carpet with a Marsalea carinata. And then in, mixed in there we have some really nice um, crypt flamingo. Looks really good. A lot of immersed growth, of course. We have some hydro, different types of hydrocotyl. I think this is Anubias, but I'm not entirely sure. Could be something else. And then there's like water, water trickling down from that uh, Wabikusa wall. Looks really, really cool. Next up, we have a really nice uh, 90p. I think it's 90 centimeters by 45 by 45, so it holds roughly 180 liters. This one is really, really densely planted, but super healthy. We have some really nice um, Rotala stem plants, uh, some Bacopa, and then some beautiful fish in here. Again, we have the Bosmani rainbows, some Cardinal tetras, uh, some type of Rasbora, not sure what they are, some Odosinclus, and some really nice. Um, uh, bee shrimp in here as well. I really like this one. The plants in here are super healthy. Can't really see any algae in here. So, yeah, of course, this one is lit with the ADA solar RGB and the colors are just popping in here. Okay, this one is really cool. We have a 60 centimeter shallow tank with a very interesting filtration system. The owner made a, almost like a faucet, like a tap. There's a metal pipe here that's flowing into the tank and I guess it's connected to the filter and there should be an inflow hidden somewhere. So the water is just circulating, but it looks like, yeah, there's just constantly water draining in the tank. Really cool. Uh, 60 centimeter shallow. We have some dwarf pea puffers in here. Some really nice bush of landra. Huge piece of wood sticking out that's covered in water sprite and moss, and of course, again lit with the ADA solar RGB. Uh, really cool display. Next up, we have a, like a full ADA system. So we have the classic ADA 60p, it's lit with the ADA solar RGB, and uh, is the ADA garden stand, I think it's called. Super jet filter, ADA diffuser, so this is definitely an expensive setup. Looks really good though, we have a nice wood structure covered in moss and small bush of landra. Some really nice red stem plants. Yeah, cool uh, little nano setup, but definitely pricey. Ok, 
Okay, here we have another display thing with some very interesting dimensions. I think it's 60 centimeters from left to right, and then it's like 25 or 30 centimeters high, and then front to back is also like maybe 40 centimeters, so really deep tank. Of course, the layout is kind of created to make that even, to really emphasize that. So it's like an Iwagumi style, almost di diorama, I guess. Really nice layout. We have some beautiful cardinal tetras in here. A mix of stem plants, I think. This is um, pearlweed mixed with some rotalas. Again, beautiful moss on the uh, on the rocks, giving it a very natural look. I like this one. Over here we have a nice little nano display tank with some very common fish, but I can't remember the name anymore. So I'll put the name on the screen. It's some type of danio. In the Netherlands we call it Chinese danio, but in English it's different. So yeah, lovely little nano tank. I think it's a 45p, so 45 by 30 by 30, something like that. A light is a Chihiro C2 RGB, big fan of these lights. And then we have a huge clump of Busa Flandra, some Dragonstone, some uh, Rotala stem plants, some Trident Java Fern. Yeah, just a very simple layout, but looks good. Okay, I think this one is 75 centimeters. It's also a shallow tank. And this one also has this like um, Wabikusa wall on the background. You can't really see it because it's completely uh, covered in plants. We have a beautiful ech echinodorus growing out of the water. Uh, water sprite again. Some really nice floating plants. And then underwater, we basically only have Bus of Landra. There's a few stem plants in there as well, but the majority is all Bus of Landra looking super healthy. Really interesting setup here. I like the, the stand, it's a very open stand. And then the tank is kind of, yeah, wedging these corners here. Nice lighting system as well. These are from Antra, which is a brand we don't really have in the Netherlands. So yeah, it's cool to see some different brands in this, uh, in this shop here. Okay, I think we've covered all the display things. There was one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, and then eight and nine so those were all the display things in the shop it's quite a small shop but they definitely put a lot of work in their uh, display things okay new day new shop i'm now in the house of discus and this shop is a little bit smaller but they have two really nice display things that i want to share with you guys so there's quite a bit of reflection so i'll do my best to get some nice shots but this tank over here and there's one more behind me were both skated by Felipe Oliveira. They have his picture up there. I think most of you will know that uh, Felipe passed away a couple of months ago. Really sad, um, he's gonna be greatly missed, but yeah, they're kind of keeping his aquascape here to remember him, to kind of, yeah, uh, to honor him, I guess. So we're gonna take a bit of a closer look at them. So the first one is 150 centimeters by 50 centimeters tall and 40 centimeters front to back. It's a beautiful aquascape for some really nice angel fish. The layout has a very like natural, almost river style to it. We have some beautiful river boulders, some nice river wood, and then different types of echinodorus. Uh, the lights are two twin star lights, and the filter is a Fluval FX6, so it's quite a strong flow in here, but the, uh, the angelfish don't seem to mind. There's some nice Romy nose tetras, cardinal tetras, and then a couple of Siamese algae eaters. Yeah, really nice display tank. It kind of has this, uh, it kind of looks familiar to the style of Filippo Oliveira, so I really like this one. Okay, so the second one is a little bit smaller. It's one meter by 50 by 50, but this one is truly like a classic Filippo Oliveira layout. Like this, this, this traditional concave V-shape, uh, Rotala stem plants in the back, a nice wood structure that's covered in java fern, anubias, bush of landra, some really nice patches of moss on the wood as well. Yeah, this layout just screams Felipe Oliveira and it's beautiful. They're really taking good care of the layout. There's barely any algae in here. Plants are looking super healthy, so yeah, they're really, uh, they're really making him proud, I think. Again, a little bit of twin star. I think we have an Oasa Biomaster filter. There's some beautiful crystal red shrimp in here. And the, uh, the schooling fish are some chili rasboras, I think. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, that was shop number two, House of Discus. Really nice one, super friendly people, just a nice atmosphere. Now let's see if we can find some more shops. Found another one. We are now at Sol Aqua. Again, a really beautiful shop with some really nice display tanks. The owner did say that they come in at the wrong time because they just trimmed some of the tanks, so they're looking a little bit bare, but I think they still look great. Let's check them out. Okay, let's start with this one. This is the first thing that you see when you come into the store. I think it's a 90p, so 90 by 45 by 45. And this one is again scaled by Felipe. This was done during a workshop in 2017 or 2018, so it's a very long-term aquascape. And you can definitely see that because this tank has a beautiful carpet with Crip Parva. I mean, I've seen Crip Parva in some other things, but never such a dense carpet. It's really beautiful to see. And then again, it's like a classic Felipe aquascape. Beautiful stem plants in a V-shape in the back. Loads of really nice Busa Flamera and Anubias. And this super colorful Hygrophila Pina Tefida. Really love this tank. We've got the beautiful cherry barbs looking absolutely beautiful, super red. Yeah, love it. It's lit by Twin Star S series. Next to Felipe's tank is another very beautiful aquascape, but I can't show you too much of this one because this is actually a tank that they made for a contest. I think it's for the IAPLC, I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, so I can't show you like a full frontal uh, clip, but I'll show some, uh, some detailed clips. Really nice hardscape made with dragon stones, looks really good. You got Monte Carlo growing over the dragon stones. Really healthy and colorful uh, rotalas in the back. Lots of detail going on here. Over here we have a really nice 60 centimeter tank. And as you can see, this one was trimmed recently. You can see that they, the st stem plants in the back were trimmed into a nice uh, oval shape. And this one has a new light. This is the Twinstar 600 EA4. And yeah, colors are really nice. The, the, gre the greens are super vibrant. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to see the reds because they were just trimmed, but I really like the light on this tank. Okay, number four is a very nice Iwagumi style layout. And I think these rocks are the, the dark version of the Sirius stone because they're quite dark. They're almost blue, but it looks, looks really good. This one also had a very harsh trim. You can see some of the yellow patches, but it still looks very good. I actually think the carpet is pearlweed because it's not Monte Carlo, it's not uh, Cuba. It's, I think it's pearlweed. Very nice. And then mixed in, we have also some uh, Fissidens moss. Really nice combination. 